Welcome to our first video in a series for uh, development of the pull-up. We're going to teach you the skills you need, the strengths you need to develop in order to ultimately do a strict pull-up, into a kipping pull-up, into a uh, butterfly kipping pull-up. Coach Sean with CrossFit Reflection. I'm going to teach you the bar pull, which is the first part of our pull-up progression series. We have Kelly here helping us out, so we're going to go over the setup for the uh, bar pull. First thing you want to make sure is that your bar is set up to navel height. So if it wasn't set up to navel height, we would simply adjust it. Second of all, you're going to have yourself a couple of measurement lines. So you'll take your barbell, set the collars up directly underneath the rack, the pins to the rack, and you're going to use a piece of chalk mark a couple of lines. We're going to mark a line that's halfway down the barbell and you use the outside finger marker for the barbell and then use another line that's mid collar. And those lines are going to be used to tell whether or not you are improving in your bar pull for the progression. We have Kelly here. We're going to go over a couple of fine points about the bar pull. A couple of things to take note of. So you're going to take her thumb and this neural here, where the shiny part meets the neural, she's gonna take her thumb and she's gonna measure it up so that her grip is perfect, right? It's equidistant, okay? So she's gonna go ahead and wrap her thumbs. You wanna make sure to wrap your thumbs. There's no suicide gripping here. There's no need to uh, hook grip it either, okay? Now, <clears throat> this first line here is Kelly's first level of difficulty. Once she's gonna set her feet up, okay? To that first line, Kelly's gonna perform three reps at three second down tempo, two, Three, back up, two, two, three, up, three, two, three. Now back to full extension. You'll see that that part right there was very easy for her. So she knows because she was able to do three at three second down tempo, her next step would be to move out to the next level of difficulty. So she moves her feet out to the next line. Okay, now she pulls up, touches her chest, down, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up. One, two, three, and she'll rest. Now, we know that Kelly is able to do three very easily. However, the step would be, the next step would be able to do four more sets at that same tempo, which Kelly would try. If Kelly's struggling with that, we know we've met the appropriate step for her in this progression. Ideally, she'll be all the way out horizontal at this third step, able to do five sets at three second down tempo. So if you find that the first progression of the pull-up series, um, the first step is a little too difficult, there is something for everybody here. So there's a couple of modifications that you can make to the setup in order to uh, make it so that you can do this progression series. So we're gonna go ahead and take this barbell. We're gonna set it up to, from her navel height to her sternum height. Perfect. Okay, this is gonna make the pull a little easier, right? Now, she's gonna go ahead and set her hands up thumb with off the neural, and she's gonna go underneath the barbell. She's gonna get her knees at a nice 90 degree angle. This will make it easier for her pull. She'll pull up, now lower. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three. Again, you see that this is very easy for her. So the next step would be to walk her feet out from that 90 degree, right? Go ahead and pull. All right, so we've gone over the movement and how to use it. Now we need to tell you how often to use it. The first step with any part of this progression series is to test every four weeks to find out if you're ready to move to the next step. Now, refer to our pull-up test video to find out if you're ready to move to the next step in the pull-up progression series. Now with this movement, or this, this part of this, the progression series, you want to ideally be doing it two to three times a week, minimally two times, optimally three times. Right? There's a couple of warnings you want to look out for though. Um, you don't want to test this too often or, or train this too often because you'll get overtrained. If there is pull-ups on Monday, you don't want to do this on Tuesday. You want to have ideally 24 to 40 hours of rest before training this movement again. Right? Upper body pull gets tired very quickly and you want to have at, uh, optimal time for recovery so that you can develop that strength component of your skill set. 
Now that we've gone over the bar pull, there's another movement in this step of the pull-up series called the scap iso hang. The purpose of the scap iso hang is to give you endurance in your active shoulder. What an active shoulder does is allows for you to insulate your shoulder girdle while you're doing pull-ups, allows you to keep you smooth, keeps you fast, keeps you safe. Okay? So Kelly here is going to use the rule of thumb. She's going to take her thumb distance off the narrow. She's going to position herself underneath the barbell. She's got her feet marked out, or walked out to that first level of difficulty. She's going to pull her chest up to the bar. She's going to touch. She doesn't have to stay there, but she's going to hold it isometrically. Now she will count one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Now, optimally, she'll be able to pull it for 30 seconds straight, but she doesn't have to. She can do it in segments, five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. But when she can go 30 seconds straight, she knows that that's her cue to move to the next level of difficulty. Thank you again for watching our videos. We encourage you to use them to strengthen and polish your skills in your CrossFit career. Be sure to post any questions or comments on what you've seen here today below or ask Coach Ashley personally for any help or assistance that you might need. Please hit subscribe so you can stay updated to any of our new videos that we're posting. And remember, always getting stronger, always moving forward.